The James Webb Telescope has been providing us with spectacular images from space for two years now. While the most powerful space telescope of all time has been peering into the deepest and oldest secrets of the cosmos, it has not only provided astronomers with many groundbreaking insights, but also a number of tantalizing mysteries. Join us on this cosmic journey, the James Webb Telescope just sent back terrifying new images that we've never seen before. How can it be that galaxies are slumbering out there which, according to our understanding, should not exist at all? Why does the value of the Hubble constant measured by Webb, which describes the expansion rate of the universe, simply not match our current models? These are questions to which experts are currently desperately searching for answers. Fortunately, the James Webb Telescope is not only capable of uncovering the most baffling mysteries of space, but also its overwhelming, almost frightening beauty, which regularly reminds us how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Humans like to describe themselves as the crown of creation. Whether we want to accept this not exactly modest title is, of course, up to each of us to decide. But when it comes to the question of the most impressive creators in the universe, it is clear who deserves the honor. But before we get it wrong, the James Webb Telescope has, of course, not uncovered some ominous power that created the cosmos. Instead, together with Hubble, it has provided an unprecedented combined view of the pillars of creation, which are among the most famous photo motifs in modern space exploration. Some 7,000 light years away from us in the open star cluster of the Eagle Nebula, we are looking at the glowing pillars of a stellar cradle, captured for the first time by the Hubble Space Telescope. Basically, stellar life begins in dense, cool clouds of gas and dust. When the gas clumps collapse under their own gravity, a protostar is formed, which attracts matter from its immediate surroundings. As soon as the sparkling offspring has built up enough mass, it can ignite the hydrogen fusion in its interior and become a real star. However, stars often do not develop on their own but in collective alliances, such as the pillars of creation. While Hubble's cosmic snapshot from 1995 shows the overwhelming structure in the visible wave range, the James Webb Telescope took a look at it in the infrared. The combination of these two images ultimately gives us completely new insights into the structure, whose finger-like outgrowths are even larger than our entire solar system. While countless newborn protostars and stars lie dormant in the dusty cocoons, their intense radiation and stellar winds have blown gaping holes into the dust cloud shells, giving them an unmistakable appearance. Given this breathtaking sight, it's no wonder that the pillars of creation were among the first subjects of the James Webb Telescope in 2022. Now, NASA has combined the Hubble and Webb images to reveal even more details. While the infrared images reveal the stellar babies and cool gas components, the visible light presents the scorching hot, glowing gases of the Starforge. The bottom line is that this spectacle is not only available as a photo, but also as a video. If you watch the corresponding clip, you will be treated to an exciting flight through the three-dimensional pillars of creation. In the course of this, the view switches between visible and infrared light, proving once again why it is so important to explore the different aspects of one and the same structure with more than one space telescope. The stellar family portrait is no less fascinating than the combined view of the pillars of creation. This family photo, recently snapped by Webb in the Serpent's Nebula 1300 light years away, also depicts a stellar nursery. More precisely, we are dealing with a reflection nebula, which produces no light of its own, but is illuminated solely by the light of the stars in its interior and vicinity. For the telescopes of the past, these nebulae were often insurmountable optical barriers. However, Webb's NIR cam is able to penetrate the dust and gas compounds to a certain degree, making visible those things that have eluded our research vision for so long. In the images, while the gas and dust appear as vibrant orange, red and blue, we can also see the intense sparkle of countless young stars. Some of these dazzlingly bright celestial bodies are just 100,000 years old, which means they are still in their infancy in astronomical terms. Yet, one day, they will have the mass of our sun. The bottom line is that one detail of the star family portrait is particularly striking, the flame-like structures at the top left of the image, reminiscent of colossal shreds. These are traces of gas and radiation outflows from young stars, which in earlier images in visible light appeared either as blurred spots or were completely invisible. NASA compares these protostellar outflows to sleet falling from the sky during a strong storm. This is the first image to show that the outflows all point in the same direction. For us, these are merely structures moving from top left to bottom right in the images. However, for experts, they are important research indicators supporting the assumption that young stars tend to rotate in the same direction when their gaseous birth envelopes collapse. 
What's the story behind the black bars at the bottom left and top right of the image? Has NASA applied the sensor pen here to make one or two UFOs unrecognizable? Unfortunately, it's not quite that exciting. The black rectangles simply indicate missing data. The first photo of the Super Jupiter reveals the continued growth of known exoplanets, currently numbering 6,911 in 4,941 systems. Researchers have already added some unusual celestial bodies to the star maps as part of the planet hunt. These include, for example, the gas giant HD 189733b, which is only 63 light years away, and according to the latest findings, smells like rotten eggs. What sounds strange is actually the first evidence of hydrogen sulfide on an extrasolar planet. Experts have also identified a series of nearby exoplanets, some of which are Earth sized and even potentially life friendly. In this regard, K218 b has been making headlines for several months. This celestial body is suspected of being a full-blown ocean world where life may even have already unfolded. Webb's near-infrared spectrometer, NIR spec, captured potential biosignatures here, specifically the spectral signatures of methane, carbon dioxide, and dimethyl sulfide DMS. The latter is produced on Earth by marine plankton and during the decomposition of organic substances, producing the typical marine odor. How the DMS signal on K218 should be interpreted, however, is another matter. It was not particularly pronounced in the web data and only revealed itself when the datasets were analyzed in a very special way. Until the background to this discovery is fully clarified, a little patience is still required. However, things look a little different in the case of a snapshot web took in a completely different location. Despite all the exoplanets discovered, images of these alien worlds are still in short supply. Most images show young, hot gas giants, as these appear as comparatively bright spots in the infrared. But there is a much cooler way. A few weeks ago, Elizabeth Matthews and her team from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg succeeded, for the first time, in making a cold, older exoplanet directly visible. The foundation for this image was laid by studying the triple star system Epsilon in Di, located just 12 light years away. While the cosmic trio is made up of two brown dwarfs and the orange dwarf star Epsilon in Di at earlier spectral analysis had already indicated the existence of a large planetary companion. An analysis with Webb's MIRI spectrograph later revealed that the system did indeed harbor an exoplanet, but it was in a completely different location than earlier studies had suggested. The reason for this was that the previous studies had hopelessly underestimated the mass and orbit of this giant gas planet. The bottom line is that we are dealing here with a celestial body that can confidently be described as a super Jupiter. As the largest member of our planetary system, Jupiter has a diameter of around 140,000 kilometers and a mass of 318 Earth masses. However, the bright point of light detected in the images of Epsilon in Di is probably six times the mass of our Jupiter. Christened Epsilon in Di AB, the extrasolar colossus orbits the main star Epsilon in Di in a relatively eccentric orbit, with the greatest distance corresponding approximately to the distance between the Sun and Neptune. As a result of this constellation, Super Jupiter takes a whopping 200 years to complete a full orbit. It was this eccentric orbit that explained the surprising deviations in earlier observations. These had actually detected the planet at the closest point to the star in its orbit and incorrectly placed it in a circular orbit. However, the new analysis not only corrected the orbit but also revealed some of the exoplanet's characteristics. For example, the temperature here drops to around 0 C on average. With an age of around 3.5 billion years, the gas giant is no longer a planetary youngster. Of the 25 or so exoplanets directly imaged so far, all were less than 500 million years old, with most being under 100 million years old. Against this background, Epsilon in Di AB is not only the coldest, but also by far the oldest exoplanet that has been directly imaged to date. The corresponding images are, of course, not only beautiful to look at, but also hold huge potential for gaining new insights. Aged exoplanets like this one are ideal for testing our models of planetary development and gathering new information about the later stages of extrasolar worlds. However, Epsilon in Di AB still holds a few mysteries. It appears that parts of its radiation in the shorter wavelength range are significantly more pronounced than previously assumed. In order to unravel this mystery, experts have now launched a targeted search for a possible debris disk. Although such disks could no longer be found with the help of Webb, the Hubble Space Telescope will take over in this regard. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey.
Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.